Hello and welcome to this on shape tutorial. Today we're going to tackle some of the challenges as you can see on the screen. We're going to develop our basic understanding of sketching, selecting planes and using the extrude feature to create a number of designs as you can see. So I'm going to start off with the emerge activities in green. I'm going to work our way around to develop the secure and master. And depending on the length of the video, I may split this up into two separate videos. When you log into Onshape, on the left hand side you have a number of options. You can open files that have been created by yourself, files that have been shared with you, and also you've also got this public section here. So as you can see, there are lots of different models that you can have access to. If you click on the search facility at the top and type TPD for Teach Product Design, and type in extrude and 2425 for 2024 and 25 and click enter you'll then see the file that we're going to be using uh, in today's tutorial if you click on that and then take a few seconds and it'll open on screen and what you might find when you first open this that the icons at the top might be slightly different and this, in this area here you can create a copy and then once you've saved that into your area of Onshape, you will then see all these icons will appear at the top. And you'll also see these uh, tabs at the bottom, which I'll refer to in a second. At the bottom of the screen, once you've opened the file, you will see there are a number of different tabs. And this will show, if you hover over, a little preview of what's on the tab. And as you can see, these are the different models which you can work through to practice your skills. When you get to on the end to the this section here, you'll have an overview and you've also got the option of clicking on the little icons to get access to the videos. You can also click on here and this gives you an overview of the channel and various other different links uh, which you can access uh, extra resources. So we're going to click on Emerge A and this is the first model or challenge we're going to have a go at. So I'm going to click on the plus and I'm going to create a new part studio and after a few seconds that will appear at the bottom as you can see here and I can rename this if I want by right clicking and then selecting rename. So if I click on uh, Emerge 8 as you can see I've created this using four extrudes and four sketches. So what we're going to do is use this as reference to show the stages that I completed. So I'm going to right click on this and this will show you okay, the dimensions. So 40 by 40. So if I confirm that, and I'm just going to spin that around and go back to the part studio. So I'm going to click on sketch, select the front work plane, press N, or select the front plane on there on the cube. And I'm going to go up to center point rectangle. And I've talked about this in some of my other tutorials, the importance of sketching from the middle. So all the planes run through this midpoint and that will save time later on. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to click enter 40 in each one of those. And I've got my basic sketch and I can confirm that sketch and I can just rotate the object as you can see there. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the extrude. I'm going to select this sketch and I'm going to extrude it. So if I check my uh, design here, scroll that down, I could go in and edit that if I wanted to, to check the size, or I could simply choose that edge there and I can see it's 20 millimeters. So that's quite easy to do. I'm going to type in 20 and I'm going to left click just to save that or confirm it. And as you can see, it's facing this way here. If it's facing the other way, I could always click on that arrow to reverse it. And I've got new, which is important because this is the first feature I'm creating. And I'm going to save that there. So the next thing I did is I came along and I created a sketch on this top surface. And as you can see, the dimensions there are 20. So if I flatten that, so 20 mil wide, 10 mil the depth and 10 millimeters from the edge. So I could go back to my part studio, click sketch, click on that top surface, end to normalize that. I'm going to zoom in and this time I'm going to use the corner rectangle. I'll press G if you're being a bit lazy, you can press G. Drag that across, 
confirm the size 20 by 10 and then remember if I press D for dimension or your dimension tool at the top left click on both those edges and type in 10 that's now a fully defined sketch because all the sketch is black and I'm going to save that and again spin this around now if I go back to this reference and update it and drag this down you can see the next thing I did was to remove all of that all of that material at the back so again that's quite easy I could go to extrude select the object change the direction and I can do this by just dragging this down and go remove and that will remove it I've also got the option of going down or up to vertex and clicking that point there and I've also got another option of even going up to face like so and the final way of doing it I could just go through all and it will cut right through it so again there's different ways of different options of getting the same result at the end so there you go so that's that bit done we then go to merge and drag this down and we have a look what I did next I created a sketch if I click edit and spin this around so I've created a sketch on this sort of middle plane that's running through and as you can see there it's 20 mil down 10 mil wide and 10 mil from the top so I'll go back into here I'm after this right plane sketch to create a corner rectangle drag that on there type in the dimensions of 10 D for dimension 20 if I can click I was this in N to each time and I've got to go back to check my reference and 10 from the top especially if you've got bad memory like me that's an easy thing to do is so just click back on the tab and type in 10. Again save that sketch turn it around so it's easy to see and then let's have a look what I did next so I'm going to update that scroll down and again I use that sketch to create a cut across that so, but this time what I'm going to do if I go up to extrude and select that I could remove it by cutting it that direction saving it and again selecting a sketch and cutting the other direction but I'm a bit lazy or you may say smart so this time I'm going to click on symmetric and drag that out and as long as it's going past that point okay it will remove the material or if I'm being very precise I could type in 40 confirm that by clicking enter and tick and I've removed that using a symmetric sketch this time so that's another little skill if I go back I can see the next sketch now this is a little bit more complicated so if I spin this around and I look from the let's get my angles if I click on the front I've created this little sketch here so we're going up 20 mil 10 wide and then coming back to the right if I move this dimension it makes it a little bit easier to see so we're going 10 20 and across like that a bit like a snake so I can always come back to this so I'm going to turn this around click on this surface here click sketch flatten it and I'm going to go to call a rectangle press G and I'm going to draw that one in first flip back check my size is 20 by 10 so press D for dimension type in 10 click on that edge there type in 20 and again if you mess this up and I don't know you've done that wrong dimension you can always just double click on it and change it anytime then I'm going to come along and draw this one so again this is going to be 20 as you can see there and 10 again so nice easy numbers so type in 20 so I press a D for dimension again or click in dimension at the top so I know I'm a little bit quick so type that in and then lastly we're going to go up 10 by 10 so again G this time rather than going up there so a little bit quicker I can snap this to the center point because I know it's 10 and I'm just going to go 
10 there like that just to confirm it and 10 there like that okay now the reason that's grayed out is because i actually snapped it if you didn't snap it then obviously you would be able to edit that so i've got that sort of pattern there i'm going to save that again rotate it this is what i like to do so i can see the sketch that i'm going to use click extrude select each one of those and i'm just going to check the dimension i'm pretty sure it's 10 millimeters and I could do that in two different ways. I could right click and go edit. And actually I was wrong, you see, so it's 20 millimeters. So it's 20 millimeters. And the other way I could do that is by selecting that edge there. And as you see, it's 20 millimeters. So it's always good to check. So go in, type in 20. I've got it going in a single direction. If you accidentally have done that, it might be on red because it's basically you're trying to add an object inside another object so I could flip that there and make sure it's add okay if I made a slight mistake and if I just show you if I click new it will be two different colors you might be thinking well why is it two different colors because it's created two separate parts okay you don't need to delete anything you don't need to start again you could just go back in there edit and click add and it will merge those two together and you've created that simple damn design like that now what I could do just turn these annoying planes off and if you want it the same color as mine you could click in here on that little tab there appearance double click and then you could obviously change uh, the color to pretty much whatever you want if you want it the same as mine you could choose the green there so that one as you can see is done so that's the first challenge done so the second challenge is emerge B as you can see on the, the tab and on screen so this consists of free sketches and free extrudes. So if we have a look at the first one, we're going to create a, if we press F for fit, a simple square 40 by 40. So we're gonna click on the plus, create part studio. After a few seconds, you can see that appears here. And we're gonna create that on the top plane. So go to sketch and select the top plane. End for normalize. And then we're going to go to a center rectangle. And as always, click on the center, drag that out, and type 40 by 40. So that's nicely defined. Everything is black. So I'm going to click on the green tick. I'll take that with my mouse button, my right mouse button, or using the cube. And then I'm going to go up to extrude. I'm going to select this, and I'm going to extrude it. So if we refer back to this reference model. We can see on the, if I drag that back, you can see here by editing, I've extruded that by 10 mil, create a new body, and it's in the upwards direction. So 10 mil, click enter to confirm it. That will change to preview, and again, I've got new, so I'm gonna just confirm that. So the next stage, what we're gonna do is go down and we're gonna create a sketch on this top surface. And as you can see here, if we press normalize and just tidy some of these dimensions up, you can see we've got this uh, shape here using two rectangles. So we're 10 millimeters to the bottom, 40 mil wide, 10 mil up, 10 mil there and 10 mil there. So again, quite easy dimensions and hopefully I can remember most of them. So if we go back to part studio. So this time we're not gonna create a sketch on a plane, we're gonna create a sketch on a surface. So again, that's another skill. So we click on that surface there, press N, and we could press F to fit on screen. So I'm gonna zoom in. This time we're gonna use a corner rectangle. I'm gonna drag this across and confirm the 40. Okay, and the reason why it's coming red because it's basically we're clicking that. So if we just delete that feature there. Dimension this to be 10. And we're going to go 10 from the bottom point to the bottom corner or from that line to that line. It does not matter. So we go 10 by 10. Go back to this model here. And we've got this rectangle. We're going to create another one up to the top surface. And it's 10 that way and 10 from the edge. So up to here. Snap it to that top edge. Snap it to my sketch. D for dimension, or click here, type in 10, 
and then type in 10 again once you selected that edge and that edge or vice versa. So again, if you've made any mistakes and that's 12 or it's 15 or whatever, you can just double click on it, type it in and confirm it and it will update. So you don't need to delete any of your drawings or sketches. And just move that out of the way to make it a bit more visible like that. So we're going to confirm that and rotate at a nice angle like so. You could do that with your mouse, mouse, right mouse button if I could speak or select the cube here. So I'm just going to go check back and see how much I extruded this by. So we go down to extrude and we can click on that edge there and you can see it's 10 millimeters. So that's quite easy. Go to extrude or shift E. Select those two, type in 10. Um, because I want this to merge together, I want to click on the add not new. I don't want it to remove or anything else. We just got this nice simple add and that will merge in. As you can tell, it's got the same color and it's just one single part. So go back to merge B, scroll down. And this time I've got a nice little sketch there. Okay, so going underneath that, and we then let's have a look what do we do then okay i can see i've extruded that right up and it's going up 30 mil from that surface so nice and easy so we're going to spin this around create a sketch on this surface by selecting it and then going sketch or let's click escape oops zoom out and click off there you go sorry if i click sketch I can select that one or select it then click sketch, it doesn't really matter. So click N for normalize. Sometimes if it spins your object around like this and you don't like that angle, you could always spin it around using these arrows here. Okay. So we're going to go up to call a rectangle. Drag this down. I could wake up this edge here and I could go down. You can see this dotted line appear and I could click on that. So technically, I don't really need to add any dimensions, but it is telling me that it's 10 by 30. Shift E, rotate this, and type in the dimension. And press F. And there you go, that's the second one done. And again, if you don't like these, you can hide them by clicking on the eyeball. Press F for fit, It'll zoom right in. And again, you could change the appearance if you want it to match mine or select your own. So double click. Select your colour, and there you go. So that's the first two challenges done. So that's the first two challenges complete, as you can see in the Emerge section, because the length of the video, what I'm probably going to do is split this up into, say, three or four videos. I did initially say two, but I think three or four would be better. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, hit a like and subscribe for future videos. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.